Arise, awake and stop not till the goal is achieved. These words by Swami Vivekananda are true even today. Let me begin by the five key pillars that you need to focus in order to become a successful entrepreneur. The first of these pillars is knowing yourself. Now that might look like a very obvious point. Unfortunately, not many of us spend time to know and learn about our own capabilities. There are strengths that we have that we need to tap and yet not many of us focus on these strengths. The second most important pillar is to have an idea. Now, an idea could be in any form. It could be a necessity that the world outside needs or it could be a path-breaking idea that you believe the market would easily take up. So an idea can actually be a great differentiator. The third thing that you need is how do you make your business work? So what are the different things that are enablers for your business? What is it that you need to know? Who are the people who are going to help you? And many other things alongside. The fourth important pillar that you need to have you guess it? Yeah, that's absolutely right. You need finance. So you might have several things, but if you don't have the money, then perhaps you might not be able to start your own business. So we also take you through how do you create an opportunity for yourself to raise funds because without money, your plans might just fall flat. And the fifth pillar is you need to have someone who can give you continuous, critical, but honest feedback. Now, often we tend to obsess with our own ideas and we start believing that whatever we are trying to do is the right thing and we are moving in the right direction. However, that may not be the case. You need someone to give you honest, critical feedback. So feedback is going to be yet another critical step towards being a successful entrepreneur. So how do you go about this? Now, while you're watching this video series, I would like to recommend you a very important part. And therefore, in order to get these ideas registered in your mind, you need to maintain something which I would like to call the dream book. Now, what exactly is the dream book? So the dream book is a diary or it could be a notepad as well, where you capture the ideas that you have while you're watching this video. And once you are done watching this video, I would request that you spend 15 to 20 minutes just with yourself and focus on the points that you've noted down. Perhaps these points will give you a lot of other ideas which you need to work on. And once you implement those ideas, I'm sure success will be yours. And there is a lot more waiting for you. So arise, keep winning.